This episode of Juice Crew Radio is brought to you by Try Best, making healthy living easy. Well, welcome. Welcome to Juice Guru Radio. Discover what the magic and power of juicing can do for you. And now, your host, best-selling author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Juice Fasting, Steve Prusak. Well, what if you suffer a medical emergency or other financial hardships? So what if you could set up a strategic plan that will generate income that will be with you even long after you live? I'm inside Create Income You'll Never Outlive. Chris Miller is a legacy wealth strategist. She's the author of uh, Ready for Retirement, Three Secrets for Safe Money and Fabulous Future. She's going to be here on the show. So get yourself some water, some tea, some juice. We'll be back right after this with Chris Miller. Here's another Juice Guru approved product. Hey there, Juice Guru tribe. Here at Juice Guru, we've tried a lot of juicers. Pretty much just about every juicer on the market, in fact. But the one we've chosen as our absolute favorite for the last three years in a row has been the Try Best Slow Star. Order your own Try Best Slow Star at the Juice Guru Tribe discount by visiting our website at juiceguru.com. Try Best Slow Star makes healthy living easy. Get one today. Juice Guru Radio. Welcome back to the show. I'm Steve Proust. I can't be more excited. I've been wanting Chris Miller for years. We finally got her. Like I said, her book, Retirement, Three Secrets for Safe Money and a Fabulous Future. Yes, wealth, money, it all ties into health. Let's welcome to the show right now, Chris Miller. Thank you, Steve. It's an honor to be here, for sure. Yes, thank you. You've been down this road before. Thank you for for blessing the Juice Group community and our iHeart uh, radio audience with your message. Yes, thank you. And and you are, you know, you are an advocate of juicing and healthy living, getting those plant foods in your body. We'll touch on that a little, and we'll touch on how we can actually live without being in debt, without being, being in fear of money. I mean, isn't that all interconnected to it is you know money is just energy and it's a conversation that we have around it that either attracts it right brings it to us or pushes it away and it's surprising how much that we sabotage ourselves in subtle ways so just like working out the same way you're working out your body you got to work out your mindset around healthy money just one of them. It's funny because last week uh, we were talking about fitness and plant foods, and here we are talking about money and mindset. It is all connected. So thank you for being here. First, maybe you can start by sharing your story on how, you know, what role this has played in your life from finances to struggling to, you know, getting a hold of your mindset and how that transformation happened. Well, you know, in the in the beginning, I had more than money could buy, but I wasn't grateful, and I really wasn't very wise, and I ended up homeless by a series of different things. I had just hit bottom, so I literally had to rebuild myself and figure it out, and when I learned to rebuild my finances, I was committed to helping others rebuild and protect their assets, and and I've sort of consolidated a lot of the the burn on it because, you know, I hit bottom. But because of that, I had a different mindset than, you know, someone that just wants to make money. My goal was to not just make money, but to help people. So when I learned to rebuild my finances and saw how I could help other pre-retirees, and I saw how I could create income, and, and it wasn't the normal way, which most people are aware of where you you gamble in the stock market. It was kind of really in my practice. I started helping retirees do paperwork. I'm a paralegal doing living trusts and estate planning. And then when I saw how they were gouging the older people, the retirees, the seniors, I was so mad. So back, this is 25 years ago, I decided I wanted to make it easy for average people to get living trusts. So that's how I started my practice and, and back then, it was like a, a gray area because all, people thought only attorneys could make living trusts. And what's a living trust? Well, it's a legal document that's created to own and manage your estate. And it isn't just an end-of-life document, but it has powers of attorney for financial and health care. So if I go skiing and break my leg, I can have someone to pay my bills and make medical decisions. And, and that's a whole you know other class. But the point was... It was a pattern. I've counseled. I stopped counting after 6,000 people. 
And what I saw was a pattern. The pattern is people would, and don't be offended if this is you, but people will start. They came into my office to start the retirement plan at 60 and 70. And, and they've lost all these years of deferral. So it's not really, there's no judgment. Because you go to school, you learn how to make money, you get out of school, you make money, what do you do? You're running around making money. And what do most people do, because they don't know about money, they give it to somebody else. What do they do? They gamble it. So this is what I saw. It really wasn't like I was trying to find it. But after about 20 years, I kept seeing this pattern. that There were three things that people would mess up with their finances. One, they didn't have the right paperwork to protect their assets or themselves. Two, they ended up losing their money in the stock market in these different crashes. And three, catastrophic illness. None of our health insurance covers if you, God forbid, to, you know, end up in a nursing home. And seven, seven out of ten of us end up in a convalescent home after 65, right, if you're not taking care of yourself. And even people that take care of themselves, right, old age happens. So, there are things that people need to know about to get in place. So it's kind of like a complementary addition to what they already have, but it, it comes from safety. So it's different than what most people have ever heard about before. Oh, my gosh, I got to tell you this. Steve, I didn't find out until I'm like, don't, you, you can cut in because I'll just keep going here. But <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm just taking it all in. Well, I'm telling you, when it took, I was in my late 50s. And I didn't find out about it. This, they hide the good stuff, even from planners, mm. the inf- just like the food world. They hide all the information. They hide all the ingredients. They give you this, this piece of meat that's in the freezer department that looks all like pretty and everything, but it's really a dead animal, right? So they, they've changed the thing with the, with the food, right, the health. They do the same thing with the wealth. They hide the secrets of the 1%. So the 99% of the people don't really get there are strategies that are there that you can protect your assets, still get the growth of the market without gambling your money. And they're safe places. Now, they're not big money for the brokers. That's why a lot of people don't know about it because you got to have a little heart to do it. It's not, I mean, I'd make more money if I just gambled your money in the stock market. But, Steve, I couldn't look at you in the eye and go, you know, you need this stock but I don't want it. I don't want anything at risk. I want my money safe. So I don't gamble in the stock market. Well, how do I make money, right? In safe investments that not one person ever lost money in the Great Depression in. But there are things that you don't hear a lot about. So it's really about planning. (laughs) You know, no matter what age, we should be looking ahead. And most people don't. Exactly. So that's why I said pre-retirement, pre-plan retirement early. Now, I blew it because I said retirement. And when people think of retirement, their mindsets think of death. The way I look at retirement, that's the midlife, right? Second half of your life. This is the time that you take your for-profit and you create your non-profit, your gift back to the world. Because we're living longer, now you can take all your gifts that you have and from whatever your business was or whatever you haven't done yet and create your give back for your third and fourth quarter of life. So during this time, and if, you're, if you are in the younger, and you can really do it even in your 60s and 70s. Some of these things that I'm talking about are insurance. They're called insurance, investable insurance. So they literally let you use the death benefit for tax-free income for life. It's crazy. And I and that, that's what I was trying to tell you. I didn't find out to my late 50s. Wait, what is it? Back up. So I it, know. how does that work now? Crazy. Okay, I have this. Let's, I have a uh, client. And she's 28. And she's putting $500 in a month. This is life insurance. When she's 67, she's set to get fifty to $80,000 a year tax-free for life. It has a death benefit, has long-term care. If you have a catastrophic illness, protects you from that. There's, there's, depending on your age and your health, it's like a little different for everybody, but I'm just trying to give you some highlights. 
Sometimes people have lump sums, like here's one for you. People that have IRAs, 401ks, uh, 403bs. Those are huge tax bombs. Now, we're like in our 20s and 30s, we think, wow, this is great. I'm tax deferred. But guess what? When you get in your 60s and 70s and you're forced to take it out at 70, you will pay taxes. And everybody thinks, oh, well, you'll be in a lower tax bracket. No, not really. It's not lower. And you'll have, so you'll lose 20 to 30% on your qualified money, your IRA money, your 401k money. But wait, there are ways that you can use what I'm talking about. You can use the death benefit to pay the taxes off the IRA or the 401k. It converts to tax-free money and create income for life. And it's and I know it's a little learning curve here. I don't want to get too comp- too much in the weeds, but just giving you highlights on it where you can take qualified money, use the death benefit to pay the taxes. Now you have tax-free income for life. And what's really important and what people aren't being taught is streams of income, just like in your business. You need to have more streams of income that are not dependent on me working. What if I can't work, God forbid? So I've set my accounts up, my retirement up. Well, I thought I was going to take income in my, I'm in my early 60s, right? But I'm like a, I'm really like a 30-year-old, 60-year-old. So now that I'm at this age, I don't want to take income. So I have like, I have steps of different things that I can turn on at different ages that will pay me income. And that's what I teach people how to do is set up what they have or don't have to set up streams of income at different ages of our life so that you can do more give back and not work so much. And is that for entrepreneurial or is that no matter what job people are working? It's for whatever job you're working. And, And depending on your age, your health and wealth, will depend on what strategy because what I'm talking about with the tax free that has health to it so it's underwritten because these insurance companies now I'm not selling companies but when I put people's money somewhere like when I put my money somewhere I'm not look just looking at interest rates I'm looking at will that company be able to pay me back when the, when the world crashes again and mind you it will in the next year or two. That's what the money guys say, not me. You know, I'm an optimist, but the reality is we're in trouble. And it, and it's whether it's this four years or the next four years, it's coming. And everybody, if you look at most people that have money, most of their money's at risk. That's all they're being taught is you've got to risk money to make money. And that's not true. So the tax-free income for life is set on your health. The healthier you are, the better rate you get. These companies, the ones I'm talking about, 170 years old, A-plus across the board, and the interest rates are 4 to 7%. Like, when I heard that, I was like, what? I was mad, Steve. Like, nobody told me about it, and I'm a legacy wealth strategist. They hide it. So that's why I'm broadcasting. Like when I do TV, when I get on the, you know, the main TV channel, they won't let me say a lot of, you know, there's so many rules and regulations. They don't, they want, they don't let this information out. But it really, it really is like the health movement, isn't it? Boom. Exactly. Exactly. Right? Because we can only say so much too. Exactly. If the perils are crazy. And the same energy that you do with getting on the right diet and getting in shape, is the same energy that you could wrap around saving and, and, and doing your healthy money. And it's simultaneously. So it's just teaching people th- about these strategies. And, and they're customizable because you're, I've never done any plan the same for anybody. You know, I have thousands of clients. But, you know, you have different ages, different healths, different families, different marriages, second marriages, second batches of kids, whatever. So there are always a lot of different little things. But the strategies that I use, they have different ones for each age, depending on what you're trying to, to accomplish. So they're customizable for where you're at. 
Does it tie into the accountant when we go there to pay our taxes, for example, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you know, they don't really like you to make money in this country. That is so true. And you know what's so cool about these products is the things where I have my money right now, it's all tax deferred or tax free. So I'm making money in these accounts, but I'm not accounting for it till I take the money out. So the tax deferred, you'll pay mm. taxes when you take the money out. The tax free is nobody's business. That's just free money. So if you get, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year tax free for life, it's really worth more because you're not paying taxes on it. Right. The value the money. That's a big thing that most people might not realize. I know. I know. So if you start now, there's things that you can do to set yourself up for success, but it depends on your age and your health and where you're at. It's not common knowledge. You don't, you know, if you go to your financial planner and ask them, their main thing is going to be get you into a mutual fund or get you in that market. That's where they get the money. They get money talking to you. They get money when they put your money in there. They make money just when the money's sitting there, Right. So the idea is to get this information and you have to take what's called a retirement planning holiday, meaning take some time off to learn about what I'm talking about. Because you spend all your time making money, making money, and then putting it all back in your business, which most people do. They're not taking out a little bit of rainy day money for the business. Same way you should take out, have, here's one for you, six to eight months used to be how much rainy day money you should have. Well, I really think you should have a year or two. This next crash is global. Now, remember in 2008, everybody's like drank the Kool-Aid already. Like everybody kind of remembers, but they kind of forget the pain of it. And I'm back to where I was, people that have money, right? I'm back to where I was. And, oh, look how great the world is. And they're buying all the stuff that's on the news, right? But it's not true. We're really in trouble. And there's going to be another crash. So you've got to make sure that your money is safe. You've got a bottom on it. And you have cash. Yeah. Well, I like to have a year or two rainy day money. That's just me. Six to eight months would be great to start. But half of everybody in the United States right now couldn't even find $1,000. That's how broken people are. And don't feel bad if that's you. There's not. It's no judgment. I'm not judging you. And don't judge yourself. You weren't taught. You go to school, you learn how to make money, you make money, you get out of school, right? That's it. Nobody's taught about money. So that's why I'm out here broadcasting. So well, no, I think it's an important, you know, we can either avoid this and anyone who's listening right now, well, you're interested. <laughs> you, you, you've passed that first hurdle. It's not a comfortable conversation for a lot of people. And the other thing we need to keep in mind is the, the, the idea about abundance and, right. um, and what a lot of money could mean because there's a lot of uh, judgment people will have about money based on their, how they were brought up and how their parents talk about people with money. And, and that's affecting their own mindset on wealth because isn't it also true that a lot of people that do have a lot of money. And here we are in LA, oh, I'm in LA in that area. And you could have millions of dollars and be the most unhappy person. So having all that money doesn't necessarily bring happiness either, does it? No, not at all. And in fact, some of my multimillionaire clients are just a mess. I have one guy, he's got $44 million, 40 million houses, and he just lives in chaos. I mean, it's just like makes you want to be simple. When you see something like that, because it's not about money. It is about the mindset. And you know that the um, way that people, you know, it's like you attract the money, you negative the money. You just get practical about it. It's A lot of it is just a little bit of discipline, a little bit. And I, and I give a little, there's a little tip that people can do that say, well, I just live paycheck to paycheck. How do you find the money? Well, there's a very cool little thing that people can do. Keep a journal for a week of what you spend. And at the end of the week, you'll add it up. And you'll have two columns, right? You'll have one of those, you know, the, the, the I don't know if you can see that, a cross with a line. And one column for is... For those on the radio, uh, Chris yeah. is holding up a piece of paper. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. We're on the radio. So... You have one column, that is the things that you really need, like your food and your gas and all that. 
And the things that are optional, like do you need to go out to dinner? Do you need that, you know, a new pair of shoes or whatever your vulnerability is. Some people might be Starbucks. But we've all heard that before. But this is how you, you, you add it to your life. You'll find money. Maybe it's $50. Maybe it's $100. Maybe it's $500. You'll find the money. Now, when you find the money, you set up what's called the DNT account. You know what that is, Steve? Do not touch. How did you know? <laughs> you just kind of figured <laughs> right. it out. You just, right, right. Do not touch account, meaning this is how you start to save your rainy day money. That's, this is just for people that, quote, use the excuse of living paycheck to paycheck. Because you've got to commit taking, when you learn these strategies that I'm talking about, you'll get inspired. When you can see that there's literally a way that you can set yourself up for success for your third and fourth quarter of life. You can even do it right now. It's just depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Well, it's funny how it adds up because especially like the people listening to this show, our friends and families and those that are trying to eat organic food, for example. We don't want the foods that's chemically altered, that are genetically engineered. We want healthier, but we pay the price for that because they really amp up the prices on just what, you know, our grandparents ate as natural food. Now, that, you know, it's a premium to buy natural food and you've got to get the chemical food instead. Exactly. So, so there, there's a cool one that changes. The, there's some things about changing the mindset. Okay. I'm going to spend a little bit more money on this organic food, but you know what? I'm going to spend a lot less on doctors. Boom. And healthcare when I'm in those older ages. So it is worth it. Now, I got blessed to be vegetarian since I was a little kid, and then I became vegan for no killing, for peace, which gives you the best incentive, you know, not just for me, my health, which it's healthier, but when I give life, I receive life. And it's the same kind of energy as saving. When you're saving for your fabulous future, your, your budget isn't like a disaster. It's empowering. So that same money that you saved, right, is like the same life that you saved with the animal, same kind of thing. But that money that you saved over there is, has an energy around it. Now, this, let's just say you like Starbucks and you drink Starbucks. And you think, oh, I got to have it. And it gives you a feeling when you drink it, right? There's an energy around that drink so you take that same feeling with that money and you wrap it around it when you put it into that bank or wherever you're going to save it well i'd like it if you would say it's a green juice i mean i I would prefer that it's a lick it's a paper green juice it's going to buy more green juice right exactly because we need it to grow our green juice plus get your little garden inside of your house and start getting, yes. you know, those little, right? Those That's things. what I'm working on. There you go. There's there's some really great, so there's your for-profit in your business set. Those things are for people that have apartments. You can grow your tomatoes. You can grow your little. Oh, it's amazing what they've sprouts. got now. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. The same same thing with the money. It multiplies. Well, it's interesting that we're talking about health and everything and planning ahead. And because isn't one of the, you talk about this, one of the biggest things is, is people go bankrupt once, you know, you know, we get an unfortunate accident or something and we end up in the hospital and, and it just drains the bank account. I see it happening to some of my family members. Yeah. Can we talk about that and how we can prepare for that? And, and even what we do if we're in that situation coming soon. Good one. Yeah. Well, 85% of bankruptcies are for medical expenses. So it's really huge. Wow. And, you know, my family was kind of, I had a kind of a nightmare of, my family was sort of a nightmare in my business because my parents didn't have long-term care insurance. So I'm going to say a million dollars is not a lot of money. What? Well, what happened was that my mom was on chemo. And she came up to me one day and she handed me this paper. And when I looked at it, it was a bill from Stanford Hospital for five days of chemo. I know you probably know this. How much do you think it was? Was it a million dollars? A 90000 for five days. She had it five days a month for a year. So 
That's pretty close to a million a year. So wow. she had cancer for 10. They didn't have long-term care insurance. They had to pay out of their pocket. Home care was $15,000 a month. You know, and, and so these are things like when you're in your 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s, you don't really think about what it's like to be 60, 70, and 80, or 90, or 100. And it changes your body, changes life, changes. And if you don't have these set up ahead of time, now when you're in good health, setting up those kinds of plans, then you'll be spending everything you just made. And that's one of the things that I saw in my business. One of the three things that was in my book is that people lost their money in nursing homes. They didn't have long-term care insurance. And I'm not talking about buying the standalone. There's another thing that, that's another, you know, the life insurance kind that is not as expensive. But they didn't have that plan, so they ended up having to spend their money. So thank God my dad was very successful. My dad was a genius. He went to school with Einstein, was his teacher, Caltech, and he was wow. brilliant. And he worked till he was 91.5. <laughs> and then um, he fell, and he never been to the hospital, never been sick, but he fell, went to the hospital, got pneumonia at the hospital, and then he had to have a caregiver. He wouldn't let us take care of him. Well, now, I did my own research, get someone 24 hours a day. That was $70,000 a year for $10 an hour, 24 hours a day, basically, more or less. That's, you know, so you could look at your savings. It's not going to make it. You've got to get, you've got to do different kind of plannings. You've got to start now. That's why I, I say pre-retirement, do it now, you guys, because what you're inheriting is a big bomb, not only a tax bomb, but a political bomb, a world bomb. It's set to explode, and I'm an optimist. So <laughs> it's be prepared on all the levels, on your health, on your wealth, and then that gives you the peace of mind when you know your affairs are in order. Chris Miller, thank you so much. You know, it's, 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 not, it's not an easy topic, but we've got to look ahead. You know, we've got to plan. So thank you. I'm so glad we, we made it onto the show. You've got a free gift for our listeners here, and I'm, we're going to have the link up at Juice Guru Radio under the show notes for Chris Miller if you're part of the Juice Guru Rewind. We'll have the links there, but is this over at your website, this free gift? It's the uh, Your Next Chapter Checklist? Right. Yes, absolutely. Now, what exactly is that? Well, it gives you a checklist of things that you probably aren't even thinking about for your planning. Because, you know, if people think about, okay, well, what do I do? You don't know. It's going to be very hard to know. I mean, you read my book or read other people's books or learn about what I'm talking about. But, but I'm happy to connect with people so that you have those, you know, little goals that you go, go okay, well, I'll take one at a time, you know, and then you can start targeting your paperwork, targeting your, your money that will last you for life, protecting some of your assets, making sure you have a guardianship for your minor children, different things that will give you ideas on that. And okay, then I'm going to go ahead and put that link uh, over okay. here in the... Um Lots of comments coming in on Facebook. There you guys go on Facebook. Chrissy said, I love my garden. Brooklyn said, this is great. Sheila said, hi, everyone. Hey, love hi. you guys. Go ahead. You guys on Facebook, you got the link. And everyone on the Rewind, you got the link. If you're listening on the radio, just go to justgoradio.com to get the link. But I'll, let me just tell you, it's healthymoneyhappylife.com. Can they get it right from the direct website or do they have to go to that? your next chapter checklist they have to go to that that list but if you can email me directly at chris k-r-i-s at healthy money happy life dot com and i'll email it to you also i want to offer your green room people your people steve if they do that or they read my book and they have a question i'll i'll give them a 20 minute complimentary financial fitness strategy meaning I'll ask your age, your health, your wealth, your goals, and I'll go, here, and I'll just give you something to, to run with. So you See, got that, it. it pays to be a rewinder. Thank you for that, Chris, and I'm going to give you guys the link to get Chris at uh, healthymoneyhappylife.com. But we're, we're going to get off the radio right now and open it up to our green room. Um, any other questions, type them in now. And before we do, 
Uh, Chris, thank you so much for being here. We've got the link and the work you're doing is phenomenal. Uh, what can you, can you just sum it up for us so we can, I'll tell you, this is, I, I never loved this topic. You know, when I first met you nine years ago and you're talking about pretirement, I didn't, you know, I was in my early 40. I was 40. I didn't want to think about it. Now I'm turning 50. It's like, all right, I'll think about it already. <laughs> forest play, forest play. But it's fun. When you see you see your money grow, it, which gives you the power and the opportunity to help people in what you're doing. It's just so exciting. I love the idea of giving back. You know, our next launch, we're giving to animal rights organizations. And uh, we want to do more. And you and I are going to talk about how we can do more. Chris, thank you so much for the work you're doing. How can you sum it up for us right now? And then we're going to close out. Okay. I want all your listeners to take a retirement planning holiday. I mean, just take some time off on a Sunday and, and look at three things that, the three secrets that are, quote, not secret, but they're just not talked about in my book. One, protection of your money. Make sure that your money is safe. That's not all gambled in the stock market. Make sure you have the right paperwork around your asset, a living trust, powers of attorney for financial and health care. And make sure you're protected from catastrophic illness, that you have all of those plans in place so you get what I call peace of mind or in a state of mind knowing all your affairs are in order. Chris Miller again here on Juice Guru Radio. You know where to get her and get the links at JuiceGuruRadio.com. Thanks again, Chris. Thank you for the magic and the work you're doing. And we're going to have you back on to talk about your health journey some other time. But until then, thank you. I'm Steve Prusak, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Juice Guru Radio. Find out more about us at JuiceGuru.com. Until next time, get your juice on.